Fuck your bitch, get a bag from it, then I never call her. Now she tripping, going crazy, nigga, tell her, let her bubble. Just say, better wish you weren't born left handed. Is it like, is it blurry? What's up guys, it's Max Glanders here. I am starting a YouTube channel because I'm getting so many of these questions from this poll I did on Instagram, so I thought I'd just do a Q&A here where I can actually speak to you guys and like say what I'm actually thinking and not be restricted by like, look how many, focus please, is that focused? Look how many words. I've written on this one story and that's like one of the first ones I did so I thought I should just make a YouTube channel or YouTube video answering these questions and then like hopefully in future I can make some more videos because I've always wanted to do this a little bit about me I am a 22 year old dude from South Africa I play cricket professionally uh, I love gymming as well I love fitness I love fashion I love all those things and like it all really interests me and I do a lot of research about all of them so I feel like I can provide some good feedback and knowledge to you guys about anything you want to know along those lines. Excuse my green cup, it's my go-to because it can hold the most juice. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so before we get into the actual questions I just wanted to touch on a topic that's kind of been annoying me a little is people asking for advice on technical things and a lot of them their problem doesn't warrant them to change themselves technically people are so quick to want to change something about their technique that's not wrong in the first place you know what i'm saying it goes back to the saying of if it's not broken don't fix it it's especially cricketers like we're always looking for something wrong with our techniques or something wrong with how we're playing or something like that where if it's working you don't need to change a thing you know so the first question is how do you balance cricket and gym as an aspiring cricketer mm. i think you really need to be passionate about both which blessed i am um because they both require you train most days and if you're not passionate about something it's not likely that you're going to do them both every day or most days so it's really important that you passionate about both and that you want to progress in both one thing i do since i am a cricketer is i never prioritize gym over cricket like cricket always comes first no matter what if i feel really tired on one day and i can only choose one or i feel like i can only do one that day it'll be cricket all the time if that's if that's your main priority if you're a cricketer then gym should never get in the way like you should never be feeling tired for a training session you should never not be able to perform at your peak because then in the end you won't get the most out of training another thing i wanted to touch on is with regards to diet because i know diets and gymming go hand in hand usually when i'm dieting it's usually in the off season and that's when i'm in my best shape because then i can fully commit to dieting down or to get shredded and my diet won't be impacting my cricketing ability do you feel like gym sometimes influences your cricket mentally that is such a good question um i'm actually really happy that someone asked this because i've been wanting to speak into this uh, i think that gym and getting my body into good shape increases my confidence overall like as a person not just as a cricketer and i feel like cricket being such a confidence game you'll take it in any form that you possibly can and that confidence from just being in good shape and being happy with what I look like and what I feel like definitely translates into my cricket and I also feel like it just adds another dimension to me as not only a player but as a person like I, I bring more to the table you know what I mean cricket wise it adds that edge to my thought process and my mental knowing that I'm doing everything that I can to be the best that I can okay so next question what's the best advice for someone who's struggling with form this is a tough question because everyone usually just gives you the cliches like uh, it's part of cricket you know and that doesn't actually help you get out of the slump or get out of that way of thinking that you're currently in when you're going through bad form like everyone's been there obviously and people will continue to go through it so instead of me giving the generic answer i'm going to actually try and help um so what i'd 
suggest is have a look at your preparation and just see if you're doing everything that you possibly can and giving yourself the best chance during the week before or just the lead up or just preparation in general to do well on that weekend mentally physically gym wise training wise everything like are you trying everything you can to do well if you're not then get on that right now because if you're not doing everything you can then you're not doing enough Confidence is, if not everything, then like 95% of cricket. If you're not confident in your preparation and your ability due to your preparation, then you're just reducing your chance of doing well. Along with this, how can you expect anyone to back you if you don't back yourself? So just get back on it, train hard, and back yourself. Okay, the last question for in here is, <clears throat> what should I eat to get shredded? I love this question. I like that you're asking what you should eat instead of what ab exercise you should do. So to get shredded, you need to burn more calories in a day than you're eating. Every piece of food, every item of food is made up of calories, protein, carbs, and fats. To get shredded, you need to eat less than you burn in a day. So you need to find out what your daily intake is on a regular basis. And then you need to find out how many calories you burn in a day. And you can do this by using a smartwatch or recommendations on apps like MyFitnessPal or Fat Secret if you're in South Africa, I think only. But it's got everything you need. Like it's even got restaurants like Spur and Wimpy. So it kind of gives you a guideline. You just give it a try. You weigh yourself every morning for a week and just see how your weight's fluctuating. And if you feel like you're getting a leaner as well when you look in the mirror. And you know, you're seeing this bicep vein. My goodness. I need to take a photo. Anyway, let me get back on track. So basically what you need to do is you need to find your total daily energy expenditure, which is the amount of calories you burn in a day, and then adjust your amount of calories you eat in a day to be below that, usually by like 200 to 500 calories to see a, a good amount of weight being shedded off. The most important thing when you're dieting though is to make sure that you're keeping your protein where it should be, which is usually like two grams per kg of body weight, just to be safe, to be on the high side, to make sure you not losing any of the gains you've made in your bulk or just to make sure you're not losing any muscle in general, you know, because that's the last thing you need. If you've got more questions on this, then just drop it down below or message me on Instagram or something. I'd be happy to answer. Okay, so that's my shift for this room tonight. And we just have chats tomorrow when I'm having a net. Okay, we are rolling. I've just gone outside now. It's the next day. It has been absolutely pouring all day here in the Berg in South Africa. And it is actually freezing. I don't know how I'm wearing a vest right now. I just came back from gym because it's been raining and a little update on the net. She is absolutely soaked. I always like to try train anyway, but you know, you, still, you got to think about what you're going to get out of it. And I know it's just going to skid on and it's going to be unrealistic. So that's why I think I'm gonna give today a miss. I already bowled earlier, but I'm gonna go do some fielding or something now, just some catching maybe off the catcher board. And basically what I wanted to talk to you guys about and why I wanted to chat outside here today is just about my channel going forward. I know this video is kind of, yo, my shoulder's getting so tired. I know this video is kind of um, Q&A based and really informative, but I kind of want this channel to be more of a follow my journey type of channel in the future. Like those are the videos I like making and the type of videos I enjoy making. And uh, I like just updating you guys on what's happening in my life. Um, lots of big things coming up, like going to New Zealand sometime early next month to move there or move back there. And I don't necessarily want this channel to just be informative, like, and me just answering questions or me just sitting inside. Like, I want to bring you along with everything I do in a day and when I do some cool, fun stuff. So that's kind of where I want to go with this channel. So I hope you guys enjoy that and I hope that's what you want as well. Let me know what you think in the comments and yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video as well. First vlog done. I'm falling on them like I'm James Hart. I don't drop it if it ain't for